Hey, Angelina, can you please put this can of nuts on the shelf for me, please? Thank you very much. Hey, hello, how are you doing today? Today we're gonna to be talking about faces, edges, and vertex. Right now we're just kind of putting a few things away on the shelf right now. Do you remember what kind of shape this was? Kind of three-dimensional shape? Oh, that person right over there said it. It is a cylinder. You put that right here. What about, that was my foot. <laughs> Do you remember what kind of shape this was? Exactly, a rectangle rectangular prism. Okay, I'm going to be careful so it doesn't land on my foot this time. Okay, let's get started. Here is a cube and let's take a look at the faces of cube. What's a face? A face is basically a flat surface. Right here, here's a flat surface. If you take another object with a flat surface on it, it's not going to fall off. So this is a flat surface. Let's count this, the faces on a cube. Now remember, there are faces on the back side of here that you can't really see from your view. So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six faces on a cube. Let's count the edge. Ah, you said, what is an edge? Okay, do you remember when your mom used to say, don't put the cup near the edge of the table. Exactly, otherwise it would fall off. Put that back for me there, honey. So, here's a face. Here's a face, or a flat surface, flat surface. And when they come together, this is called the edge. Like an edge of a table, edge of a dresser, edge of a cube. So, how many edges are on this cube? Let's count. We have one, two, three, four in the back, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. There are twelve edges on this cube. What about a vertice? What is a vertice? This is a vertice. Ooh, oh, it's kind of sharp. The edge of a vertice is where three faces come together. Right here on the edge of this table right here, here is a face, a face, and a face vertice. That's where three faces come together. So let's count the vertices on this cube. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight vertices on this cube. Okay, let's take another object. Remember what kind of object this is? This is not a cube. It's not even on all sides, a little bit longer. Right, it's a rectangular prism. Let's count the number of faces we have on this rectangular prism. We have one, two, three, four, five, six faces. What about edges? Do you remember what the edge is? Yeah, that's where two faces come together. An edge, there's an edge right here, a face and a face. So let's count the edges. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Wait a second. That was the same amount that we had on the cube. You're absolutely correct. The cube and the rectangular prism both have the same amount of faces, edges, and vertices. The only difference is, is that the rectangular prism is a little bit stretched out. It's a little bit longer. It's not as even as the cube, okay? So, our next object is in the Great Egypt Pyramids. We have a pyramid shape. Okay. Ooh, do you see this? What is this called here? I bet I can even put this cube on top of there. You're right. It has a face. Here is one face, two, three, four, and five. Five faces. 
okay? Let's count the edges. Remember, an edge is where two faces come together. We have one, two, three, four. There are four, uh oh, I missed the sides here. There's four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight edges. What about vertices? What's it? Ooh, ouch! That's right, the pointy. That's where three faces come together. There's a vertice there. There is one, two, three, four, five. Five vertices on this pyramid. Next object in line is the cylinder. All right. We have a face, because I can set that on there. A face here. And we have a face here. What about this? Oh, hi, Angelina. Excuse me, I gotta put away some watches that Angelina has here. Thank you. So we have two faces right here. We have a face here and a face here. Is this a face? No, that's not a face. It keeps on falling off. So remember, an edge is when two faces comes together. So my hands right now is touching with Angelina and they are together, okay? These two faces are not together, so there is no edge. And that means that there's no vertex because there's no faces that come together. Hi, how are you doing today? May I please have an ice cream cone? Here's your money. This is a cone. It has a face here and one vertice here. No edges. A cone. Um, our last one is the... Looks like a ball, doesn't it? What? Do you remember what that is? Yeah. This is a sphere. Sphere. Let's count the faces on a sphere. Remember, a face has to be a flat surface. It's going to fall right off. There is no face on a sphere. If there's no faces on a sphere, there's no edges on a sphere. If there's no faces, also there's no vertices. So I hope you enjoyed today's show. We talked about cubes, rectangular prisms, cylinders. This is, this is like the shape of a rectangular prism. We talked about pyramids. And we talked about cones. And a sphere. I hope you have a great day today. And we'll see you later. Bye. Ow!